Hello, welcome, Cabbage here. So in a War of the Visions, I've been playing a lot more, and I think I've unlocked all of the, uh, the menus and the areas in the game. Uh, so let's take a second look at the uh, menus. Uh, this will be a deeper dive today. Uh, I guess we'll go along the bottom here. This is the guild menu here. I haven't really been uh, doing this very much, uh, but you can, uh, I guess, set up like uh, statues and then you give offerings to the statues and you raise their levels and then you get stuff. Not too clear on this. I don't care very much, so. <laughs> yeah, I haven't been paying attention to the guilds too much. Uh, next up is the duels. Um, there's a few different options for multiplayer in this game. Uh, one is Arena. This is the one on the left here. Uh, this is where you make a team of three and then they do an auto battle against another uh, player. Um, so yeah, you don't have to put like, uh, you don't have to push auto, uh, you don't have battles that last forever, so I think this is a much better arena than uh, Brave Exvius. Then on the right we have uh, match battles. These are ones where you actually control your characters, uh, but it's still uh, three on three. And then there are uh, three options on the right. Uh, the bottom one is the friend match. You can play people in your friend uh, list. Uh, the middle is the free match. You can play just whomever is looking for a match at the time. And then at the top is the class match. I don't think this has been unlocked yet, so uh, maybe in a future update. Okay, and then... Let's see, this is the vortex, this area here. Uh, this first one, the event uh, area. Uh, these are the limited time events, so we have the uh, Final Fantasy XIV collaboration up here. And in the bottom half, these are like uh, events to celebrate the release or the, uh, what is it, 100,000, 1 million downloads, something like that. And if we hit the uh, top button, these are the ones that are available every day. Uh, so experience, gold, uh, equipment upgrade stuff, Esper upgrade stuff, character upgrade stuff, so yeah. Oh, and then some of these have like a two times um, promotion going on, so yeah, keep an eye out for those. Uh, here is the multiplayer. This is a little bit different from the, uh, the ones where you play against your uh, friends or just random people. This is where you team up with people. And uh, you can team up with uh, four people, and then you each control one character. And then you can go through these uh, quests where you collect... Uh, like uh, Ascension Materials, or that kind of thing. Okay. Oh, and the one thing about those uh, multiplayer things is that if you uh, sleep too long during your turn, it'll just skip your turn, and then it'll move on to the next. And then here, these are the, uh, the high difficulty level quests. Uh, at the moment, it's mostly just uh, espers. Uh, so like Ifrit, Golem, uh, Behemoth, people like that. Uh, I haven't tried these yet. They have the uh, the recommended uh, levels there. So like level 60, job level 10. Uh, I'm not quite there yet, so yeah. Okay, I think that'll do it for this page. I guess finally here we can look at the Mog Shop. Uh, you can buy things with uh, different currencies that you gather. Uh, like here for uh, playing the Final Fantasy XIV collaboration. Or friend points. Arena points, uh, player versus player points, guild points, and uh, other stuff. Oh, I kind of want this, so maybe I do want to play the uh, the guild thing after all. <laughs> okay, let's head back to the main menu. Okay, last button here along the uh, the bottom here. This is the story. Uh, so I can uh, select different chapters of the story. Uh, I can, uh, you know, view the story. I can gather materials as well. Uh, if we go down here to the lower left, uh, we can kind of see the world. This is a map. And then as we get further in the story, we can unlock more areas. And then these are uh, like bonus quests. Um, and then here, for example, for a Shutaru, uh, if you raise him, if you get him, and if you raise him to level 40, you can play this quest. And then you can unlock a new skill for the character, which is very cool. Uh, you can also maybe uh, get more materials to awaken his uh, jobs and things. So, 
yeah, almost every character, not even just the rare characters, but like uncommon and uh, limited time characters, they also have their uh, character quests. And then, let's see if there's one here. Uh, as you unlock more uh, areas, here we are. Uh, they have a sub quest, and then these are kind of different, you know, like play multiplayer five times or uh, kill ten wolves or whatever, and then you can get uh, more uh, rewards that way. Okay, I think that'll do it for the world. And then, let's see what else we got. I think I've showed you most everything, maybe the first time. Uh, but now I want to get into detail about how to kind of level up your guys. So uh, let's look at Shutaido here. Uh, so if we hit this button here, we can just uh, use uh, cubes, raise the uh, level. Uh, if we hit this uh, top one, this is Awakening, we can raise their star level. Uh, stars are pretty important uh, because the more stars you have, the higher your max level can go. Uh, but you can also unlock more spots in their ability uh, grid here. Um, so if I hit this guy, this is locked at the moment. If I raise Shiteru to level 4, uh, the 4 star, then I can get access to this skill. And then I can spend uh, AP points, uh, JP points, to unlock that skill. Uh, we'll go back for a second. Um, and then here on the left, these are crystals. Uh, these don't seem to have a lot of effect outside of just raising your max level. Uh, but yeah, if you do want to eventually aim for the Trustmaster, you do need to fill this. Uh, in order to get that, you need many, many drops of the actual character. <laughs> Uh, and then here, let's look at the uh, Trustmaster. Um, so it has, you know, the, the different stats that it gives you, and then maybe like a special ability, um, or like a special passive ability. Uh, but it'll also unlock a, a new ability. Uh, if you equip the armor from Shiteru, uh, you get an ability. Uh, for three turns, you can um, increase the, uh, the defense against uh, like area attacks. That's what that looks like. Okay, and then over here on the right, uh, we have uh, different jobs. Uh, the main job, this is the one that the character starts with. Uh, Shiteru is a soldier, and then in order to raise that soldier level, we collect these different uh, items, and then we can play these different quests in order to uh, farm those items. Um, and then here's the uh, secondary uh, job. This is a dragoon, uh, so also I can collect uh, different items. Uh, most of these items that you need to raise levels, they're the same for all characters. Uh, the reason why they're different colors here is because the, um, the level you're aiming for is different. The higher your level, the different colors that you need. So like green is lowest, blue is medium, uh, purple is higher. And then uh, here this is the third job uh, for Shiteru, the ninja. Uh, but I can only get access to this if I raise his stars to four. Uh, we can see the, uh, the ninja here. So yeah, stars are pretty important for getting the most out of your characters. Okay, let's take one more look at the ability uh, grid. So yeah, I have uh, some abilities unlocked. Uh, this one is available, but I haven't unlocked it yet just because I don't feel like uh, I need to unlock it. Uh, but yeah, luck up six. I don't feel like I need that, so I'll just save my uh, JP for now. And then... Here, if we go to Ability Set, this is maybe my favorite part of the entire game. <laughs> uh, but here is the, uh, the main command. This is his like uh, base job. Uh, this is always available to him. Uh, if we long press on it, we can look at the skills that he has available uh, to him uh, from his main job. These are always available to him. So here, this is the uh, Hazard Form. This will raise his attack for three turns. And then here's the Aspil Force. Um, this is an attack uh, which drains the uh, enemy's uh, TP. So that's like uh, MP, magic points in this game, I think. Maybe it's technical points or something. And then uh, right below that, this is the sub-command. Uh, we can choose from his different jobs and then get access to like sub-actions. And then this might be like where you can most change the character uh, because they'll be able to do different actions. So I have his main 
uh, command as soldier. I also have his sub command as soldier. And if I long press on that, I can look at the abilities available here. And then for sub command, there are totally different uh, abilities here. Um, so here's burst spin. Uh, he can hit everybody around him in this kind of a uh, little plus uh, pattern. Here's a uh, burst slash. This is uh, attack one enemy uh, within that uh, range. And then here is um, prize edge. Uh, he can attack somebody from like a kind of a short distance away, uh, but the damage is lower. Uh, but this might paralyze guys. This is just straight damage. Uh, this is also straight damage, but takes away some damage from himself. So uh, yeah, that's uh, kind of the soldier sub skills. And then let's select uh, Dragoon and then see what sub skills are there. Uh, let's just jump. <laughs> Uh, jump is kind of cool. It does take a couple turns to get off, and then you can't target units. You can only target panels. Um, so if you target a panel and then the enemy moves out of it, you'll come down and hit nothing. Um, so yeah, kind of a risky attack, but could get you good damage. Uh, we'll put him back to soldier. That's my preferred uh, sub job for him. And then uh, here we have support skills. Uh, this is regardless of whatever sub job you pick. Uh, but I have jump plus one, and then this is like a um, further uh, attack up. So yeah, those are kind of like passive skills that you can use to uh, just upgrade your stats or whatever. And then here is a uh, react skill. Uh, they also had that in uh, Final Fantasy Tactics. Uh, but here, this is just a uh, counterattack against uh, physical attacks, which is good for him because his attack is so high. Uh, but yeah, I want to show you all of the uh, setups that I have for all of my characters. So next up is uh, Eileen. I was lucky enough to pull her. And we'll look at her ability grid and then her ability set. So for her main job, I have her as a Lancer. Uh, she has kind of an area attack here that's pretty useful. Uh, stack Shadow. And then a Sharp Spear, this is her own uh, self buff. Raise her attack and then a critical rate. And then Lancer as a sub skill, um, she gets Burst Slash. This is a medium damage attack, uh, which you can do up to two spots away, so that's kind of nice. And then her sub job that I have unlocked for her is Warrior. Uh, but Warrior, I haven't unlocked anything, so yeah, that's why I'm using the double Lancer. And then uh, for a support skill, this is a uh, piercing attack up. And then just a general attack up. And the uh, reaction skill is also just a counter attack against uh, physical attacks. Oh, let me show you one last thing. Uh, so here I got her to level 40. And then I played her uh, hard quest. And I unlocked um, this skill which raises her MP, uh, her, her technical points, and then also her piercing damage. So, yeah, not a giant, you know, benefit from that uh, hard quest skill, uh, but still happy to have it. Uh, next up is the uh, main character, Monto. And uh, his uh, always on skill is Lord. Uh, he has the stone throw and then also a self buff, the attack. Uh, sub skill, I prefer Paladin. Uh, he gets the um, Blade Bash. This is a uh, kind of a higher damage uh, physical attack. And then also maybe uh, paralyzes guys. That's pretty useful. And then here, this is a uh, self heal, so that's kind of nice. Um, I have I have Mont at uh, four stars, so I have access to all of his three jobs. Uh, if we look at the Lord uh, sub skills, uh, here's Tackle. Maybe it will uh, toss back a guy. And then uh, this is also a heal, uh, but he can also heal uh, teammates around him. So, yeah, Monto is kind of interesting. He has attack skills, he has healing skills, uh, kind of buff skills as well. And then here's Knight. Let's see. Okay, I haven't unlocked anything for Knight yet, so uh, we'll put him back on a Paladin. And then uh, here I only have one uh, passive skill available. 
So that's why there's an empty slot. And then this raises his HP and defense. And then reaction skills is also a counterattack. And then his uh, master ability here, defense up. Uh, this is also coming from his uh, hard quest. Okay, next up is uh, Fina. Still need to work on her. Uh, but her uh, always on job is the uh, white mage from Lapis. So she has cure and then charge. Charge is kind of like a higher damage uh, ranged attack, like her bow and arrow. Uh, and then the sub skills for the Lapis. Uh, this is a uh, Cura. Uh, this will uh, cure people in an area, so not just one character. And then uh, Cheer, uh, raise another character's attack. Uh, support skill here. Um, I think this is resistance to instant death, so that could be cool. And then uh, the reaction skill. If she takes damage, she will restore... HP to herself in the form of a regen, so that can improve her survivability. And then a sub job is Gunner. Don't have any skills for Gunner. Um, I really want to get her to four stars so I can have access to the Cleric uh, job, which might be her best sub job, actually, so I would like that. Uh, and then last is a Yashutara. I'm currently focusing on these five characters. And then her main job is Witch. Uh, so she has this uh, kind of medium range uh, fire attack. It's a single character. And then uh, this one's kind of interesting. It raises the uh, CT. I guess that's the, uh, the count gauge, like how quickly another character can act. She can increase that. And then for the sub skills for the Witch, uh, this is like a super fire attack. Uh, it has a kind of a range of effect, so if you're not careful, she might hit herself as well. Uh, but fairly damaging. And then this is a self-buff, uh, raises her magic. And then her, I'm kind of debating, like, what would be maybe the best sub-skill, because she also has a white mage. And then as a white mage, uh, she can use Essena or uh, Cure, so those could come in handy. Probably just depends on the quest that I use her in. Uh, support skill, I have uh, magic up, and then uh, this is also protection from death, and then reaction skill is uh, when she takes damage, uh, she'll get uh, some AP back, so that's cool. Okay, so that is a look at uh, leveling characters, and then I guess we can look here... This is a thing where if you spend a little money in the game, um, then you get more rewards here. Um, so upgrade items, uh, get more gold, uh, skip tickets, or uh, you can get more uh, elemental items. I'm not focused on this too much, so yeah, you don't have to feel pressured to spend money in the game here. <laughs> And then if we look here at the menu where you, uh, you know, get Lapis. Uh, if we come up here, this is the Royal Rank. This is a new thing. Uh, but as you raise your Royal Rank, and then you can use this, um, or you can get Royal Rank points uh, by fulfilling missions day by day. Uh, you can get uh, various uh, bonuses. Um, so... Uh, you can get extra drops from the Chocobo Expeditions. Uh, you can get a gift of some uh, stamina refreshes. And then uh, here at the bottom, um, this is a pack that you can only uh, pick up if you have a uh, royal rank of a certain uh, height. Um, so here I could get this royal rank 1 pack, uh, get some EXP, some skip tickets, and some um, unit tickets. And then it costs this amount of uh, lapis over here. Um, and yeah, as you get higher in rank, uh, you can get uh, better and better packs. Um, but, you know, I don't feel super motivated to go after any of these. And then, yeah, as you get higher and higher, uh, the cost of these packs really goes up. <laughs> I don't know if that's really worth it. Uh, but, yeah.
All right, I think that will do it for the uh, the deeper look at the menus of the game, and then uh, kind of a focus on uh, leveling up guys. Um, in maybe over the weekend, I'll do videos about looking at the uh, the EX quests and then the raid for the Final Fantasy XIV, and then also a video about uh, just like in a review of the game, uh, where I actually give opinions on how I like it. Okay, thanks for watching, and we'll see you again. Take care.